So I think we'd all agree that social media is incredibly powerful and everybody's on it and everybody sees, obviously, what we do. It's great, right? Do you know that as good as social media can be for your business and as good as it can be for like building your personal brand, it also can be terrible if you don't pay attention to actually what you're posting? You see, even if you have a personal social media account and you have a business social media account, it doesn't mean that there aren't potential clients watching you on your personal social media account. And I'm always amazed how many people understand the power of social media from a business perspective, but yet they think that they're invisible on their own personal profiles. I recently had a company reach out to me about possibly doing some video work for them because their current person they were using was not really representing themselves very well on a personal social media level. Now, this person had no clue that they had been watching their personal channels, which is actually what was driving them away from using them as a company. They were just kind of being their own selves on their own personal social media and saying what they thought and even talking badly about an experience they had with a client who was also following them on that social media. And I can't really comprehend why you post so many things in your own social media account and think that no one else watches. You see, even though I do like a ton of behind, dude, I don't know if you're, I I'm like a lot heavier than I look. <laughs> have I ever told you that I have an RV right here? We'll talk more about that this week. So even though I do tons of like behind the scenes stuff and vlogging on jobs with clients, and a lot of you ask like, well, what do they think about that? What do they kind of say? The whole point is my channel is about education. That specific side of the vlog is about education. Even if I had a bad experience, I wouldn't talk about the client in a vlog or even on any social media. It just doesn't make any sense. Literally every time I drive down the road, I always want to show you the trees because I think wide angle lenses and trees look amazing. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about there. Continue on. See, I think so many people use social media as like their outlet to express kind of what they're really thinking, whether it be their job or whatever situation. And the thing is, I don't really understand how you ever think that it makes sense to use social media, a public place that employees, friends, coworkers, potential clients, all those people can see what you do. So it doesn't really make sense when you use a public place. I know it feels like just this great sounding board that you can just kind of express what you think and tell people how much you hate the company you're working for or working with, but does that make any sense? In a public place, why would you complain about someone that's paying you? Yes, medium, hazelnut, iced coffee, cream and sugar. You see, I'm not even suggesting that if you are like a professional photographer that you have to post perfect pictures on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I'm not even talking about any of the content that you actually put out. I'm not talking about that you need to represent your personal brand or your business on every level at every single time. I'm not suggesting that at all, honestly. I think it's great when you mix things up and you bring some personal life to your social media because it helps humanize who you are and doesn't make you just be a business only person. I think that's all great. Pablo, do you think it's important to spend uh, time thinking about what you post from a personal social media uh, standpoint? Yeah, because it's your billboard. Everything that you do on social media is your billboard to the world. So I would keep that in mind before you post anything because um, you want to represent yourself well. Have you seen people do it wrong? Yes, <laughs> a lot. And you probably already, he probably already told you, I'm assuming, I haven't heard anything he said on this yet, but when you post stuff, like I see so many people that post so many weird things, even if they're a business owner, that they're like complaining about like clients of theirs or they're complaining about their life. And I don't think you should be complaining if you want to represent yourself well. You should just be posting about things you're excited about, stuff that you're working on, and maybe even boosting up not only what you're doing, but other people too. I, I don't know. I feel like people just do social media kind of weird and not everybody, but there's a lot of people that I find that complain and you shouldn't do that if you want to represent yourself well. One of the best truths I ever heard, and it's one that doesn't feel good to actually hear when you know it's the truth, but no one at all cares about your complaints and about all the things you want to complain about except for your other loser friends who also complain about everything. Ouch, that one hurts. If you love social media as like your sounding board to being a huge complainer and you love it because all the people respond and also complain with you, you probably have a bunch of loser friends who just love complaining. And I guarantee you, if you spend enough time around people who nonstop complain, 
you'll probably complain more. I can be a person that from time to time does complain. I try to surround myself with people that don't. Pablo is one of them. But overall, what I realized is people just don't really care about your problems, in all honesty. And so, why voice them? Let's make positivity louder than negativity. I think that's a good way to end. Yep.